in just a few moments. What is that? Like, that is the craziest I've ever seen in my life. Uh... I see every star in the sky. There's no clouds. There's nothing. But this light keeps flashing up in the tree. I don't know what these things are. Guys, how is the airplane not moving? It's just sitting. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm James Lafleur, and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a really good compilation of the best and the most unexplained glitch videos out there. Are you guys ready for this one? Well, let's go. Now, I don't know about you, but when it's a beautiful night outside, I usually like to lay down and watch the stars, the moon and the sky in general, and I keep asking myself if it's really just us, human beings, as a rational and intelligent race in the universe. And I guess that most of the times, lots of people ask themselves this exact question. <laughs> Is it just us, or is there maybe something else out there? Now recently the internet has been completely baffled by this topic for some reason and there have been several videos popping up on social media and many other places that may be evidence of something else out there. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, it had a bunch of uh... One of the most recent videos that have been baffling internet users all over social media was supposedly recorded in Everett in Washington. This is what was seen. Check this out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I've never seen anything like it. It had a bunch of uh, sparkling lights on and stuff. At first, what appears to be a balloon hovering very slowly over Everett can be seen. Then, when the person zooms in, we can observe several tiny spots of light shining all over the object. Whatever this thing is, it's not producing any sound, as in a drone, so it's not one. And it might just not be a balloon. So what is it? But it doesn't stop there and things just get even stranger in Bogota when a couple of weeks ago Lucas Villafañez captured something chilling while working at his home. Now Lucas has a very interesting social media profile but he usually posts things about his daily life. It has absolutely nothing to do with mysterious, strange or creepy things caught on camera. But in one specific occasion Lucas noticed something really strange hovering just next to him and he was able to capture it all on camera and this is what he saw. What appears to be a cylinder type object can be seen hovering just next to Lucas' property. In the video we can see it flying straight into the woods and disappear. Completely baffled by what he just saw, Lucas stayed there and recorded more videos in hopes of capturing it again. After posting the video to his account, it amassed millions of views and thousands of comments. Internet users were divided and baffled. While some state that this could be a drone or maybe a cableway of some sort, 
Others left comments saying that this could actually be a mysterious object going into a cave and this is the reason the object disappears straight into the woods. Now Lucas did his best and he went over to that mountain to find out more and this is what he captured on camera. Por el tamaño de los árboles podemos darnos cuenta de que era bien grande lo que pasó por acá. Pasó por acá y no sé si habrá sido ahí o ahí. Eh, para hacer un teleférico no es porque cables no hay. Después un dron se escucharía. Esto hace mucho eco y no, no puede ser que pase un, un dron sin hacer ruido. Igual que un avión a control remoto lo mismo. Sería, haría ruido igual. Dejo su interpretación. Ahí hay pura mata nomás. No hay lugar para aterrizar nada. It appears that whatever this thing was, it probably wasn't a drone. And it's not a cableway, so what is it? Curious, Lucas continues climbing the mountain and he finds a cave. It could maybe answer why the object simply disappears. But I don't know, the cave doesn't seem to be as large as the object is. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? Could it be that this object went into a cave of some sort and vanished inside the mountain? And where did this object come from? What's your take? Usually when people are sitting down with friends or family during dinner time and start talking about unexplained topics, it's very interesting how everyone has an unexplained story to tell. The thing is, most of the times there is a really good explanation to unexplained things caught on camera. Sometimes there isn't. Bro, what the f is this? What the f No way, bro. Ooh, nobody's supposed to be up there, bro. What the f you can't even see his face. Oh my god, bro. What the f What the f Bro 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 what the f No f way And I guess this is exactly the case with a social media account by the name of Pro Hood Winker She was casually recording a moment in her life during the afternoon when she noticed something really strange something that neither her or anyone on the internet could explain. This is what she caught on camera. What's up guys? I'm watching this video on repeat. Your guys' comments are amazing. And someone just pointed something out that I cannot believe what I am seeing. All right, you see homeboys walk up to me with the dog, the strange dog, right? But check this out, right here at 42 seconds, you can see through dude with the glasses as he's walking past the tree. You can see the tree through him. Watch this right here. Here we go. Hold up. Almost. As he's walking away. Right there, you see through the tree. Apparently Pro Hood Winker was recording a moment in her afternoon when these two guys come up to her and start arguing about something. Well, she posted the video to her account, and this is when one of her subscribers noticed that the guy in glasses is actually see-through, which is basically impossible. Some internet users are stating that this is just a camera glitch due to the effect of the sunlight being contrary to the camera lens. However, even if that were to be a good explanation, it would not explain how we can actually see through the guy in glasses. After the video went viral, many internet users were divided. Some believe that this could actually be a glitch in the camera lens, while others think that this is a glitch in the simulation and that there is no explanation to it. So Pro Hood Winker. In reply to many internet users that were in doubt, posted another video. Now in the second video, we can actually see what she's talking about and it's very clear. We can actually see through the guy in glasses.
Many internet users were left completely baffled by this video and some suggest that this could actually be a legit glitch in the matrix. But I'm not too sure about this. What do you think? Is it actually possible that we're living inside some sort of digital simulation and that this video, for instance, is evidence of such thing or is it maybe just camera illusion or maybe something else? What's your take? Even though humans have evolved quite a lot in the past few centuries, there is still a lot that we don't know about the universe. For example, the world as we know has three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. There is the mind-bending possibility that there is more dimensions out there. According to string theory, the universe operates with ten dimensions. That's quite a lot. I mean, what happens in these other dimensions that we don't have access to? The thing is, it could explain the existence of ghosts, spirits, and other types of phenomena that we can't explain. It may explain this next video that we're about to watch that was recorded in Monterrey, Mexico of what appears to be some sort of strange interference that happens in the radio every time someone passes this specific place next to an abandoned house. Check this out. Se supone, se dice que cuando llegas para allá, donde está la cruz, más o menos por donde va la camioneta que ella, se distorsiona este pedo y empieza a sonar una ambulancia. No se sabe si es verdad, pero bueno, se dice, vamos a, 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 pasar, a pasar por ahí a, a ver qué pedo. La estación no se ha cambiado, es la misma estación. Por allá está la cruz. Dale lento, dale lento, más lento, más lento. ¡A la madre! ¿Dónde está la cruz? Dale, dale. Whatever is going on here, it could be temporary interference caused by some sort of radio signal or a station. However, this phenomenon keeps occurring every time a car passes by this specific location. For instance, this next video was recorded years later and still the phenomenon continues occurring just the same. Ya vemos la cruz ahí. No mames, no mames, güey, sí, sí. Ahí está la cruz. No mames, güey, no mames. Ahí está la cruz en la orilla que... While some internet users believe it may have to do with some sort of paranormal event linked to an ambulance that crashed in this place in the past, others think it might have to do with a geological formation or an electromagnetic interference. But I'm not too sure, I think it's quite odd that the sound that we hear really resembles an ambulance. Is it maybe some sort of signal coming from another dimension? What's your take? Now I don't know about you, but during summertime I really enjoy traveling with my family or friends to the beach and just stay for as long as I can. Enjoy the summer, the sun, the smell of the rain, the beaches and everything else. It's just wonderful. But there's one thing about summer that really bugs me, and I guess that it bugs everyone, literally. And those are mosquitoes. And I guess that no one actually likes mosquitoes and the fact that they spread lots of diseases amongst humans. But they are a part of nature, and I guess that meddling around with their genetics isn't exactly the best of ideas in the long term, in my opinion. However, recently a video went viral on social media of a man that supposedly found a mosquito and there was something really wrong about it. This is what he saw. In the video, a man holds a live mosquito and in it we can see imprinted somehow the number 36. The video was posted by Reddit user Dank Pepe Boy, and he says, Any theories about what this is, I somehow doubt that the explanation is as simple as someone wrote a tiny 36 on it. Needless to say, internet users were completely divided about this video. 
Some say that this is a natural pattern, that the number 36 is just a coincidence. While others state that companies have been studying on genetically modifying mosquitoes. So I immediately began to research the topic and I found tons of articles actually stating that companies indeed are genetically modifying mosquitoes for several reasons. Anyways, in your opinion, what do you think is really going on here? Does this mosquito actually have a number 36 tagged on it? And why so? Or is it just some coincidence, like a pattern in nature where we see the number 36 because we want to? What's your take? Now just imagine the following situation, you decide to go camping all alone, which isn't exactly the smartest decision, it's close to midnight, and to feel less lonely, you decide to do a live stream to show your viewers exactly where you are and what's going on, when all of a sudden unexplained phenomena starts happening all around you, and you actually capture that on camera. That's exactly what happened with DB Interactive Media YouTube channel. Now, DB Interactive Media is a channel focused on classic Disneyland attractions, classic Disney cartoons, and things of sort. There are no other videos in his entire channel that focuses on unexplained phenomena. This is what he captured on camera. This campfire roar in here, okay? So, hang on. Back it up. I don't know if you guys can keep seeing this behind me when I'm doing this here. Yeah. That is really weird. I am like get a little closer. There we go. Maybe you'll see it behind me. Um, I've wandered everywhere in the forest here all day. And I see every star in the sky. There's no clouds. There's nothing. But this light keeps flashing up in the trees, different areas. Um, it's really weird, and I don't know how to describe it because it keeps flashing in different areas of the trees. Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher, and I don't know what it is. I just hear elk around. It's kind of freaky. All right, let me just, I'll, I'll turn it back again. Hang on. Uh, yeah, it is really freaky. I've never seen anything like At a first glance, DB Interactive captures what appears to be two spheres of light shining amidst the trees. No helicopter. Oh, did you see it? The video goes on for a few more minutes, but DB Interactive isn't able to capture the event fully. A few hours later, he tries to capture it again and does another live stream. This time, things go a bit different. There it is again. No lightning, because it's the same area every time and there's no clouds anywhere. There's a clear sky. Um, yeah, that's a different area. Whoa, that looked like it came up from the ground and now it's flashing and then it, whoa. That, if I can zoom in, hang on, let me see if I can get this zoomed in a little closer. See if you guys can see this better. So I can get you the effect here, hang on. Okay, hang on. Then I know it's gonna be dark for a second. I don't know, it does look like it's closer. Though that's nothing. That's just embers flying that you see the little things crossing the screen. But you're gonna want... Whoa! Now did you see what I'm talking about? For a moment there, he was able to capture it very clear. It looks like as if something is flashing amongst the trees. Now besides the fact that it really looks like small spheres of light coming from different directions, at one point he's able to capture it coming from the ground. Taking into consideration the entire context, this does not look like a lightning storm. It looks like what something it else. Make? It makes no sound at all. Just random flashing, different areas, and it's a big flash, like a big ball of light. Anyway, my point was this is an area that uh, Travis Walton got abducted in uh, up here near the Mogollon Rim. Needless to say, his video went viral on YouTube and many people left comments saying that they experienced similar things. There's even a video that I featured before on this channel of hunters in the Amazon forest who were able to capture what appears to be a ball of light shining amongst the trees. This time it's a bit different because it's not blinking. Check this out. Tell me what you think. Have you ever experienced something like this? 
From the earliest days of Alexander Graham Bell's invention to the latest iPhone release, mobile phones have become an essential part of our daily lives. With their advanced features and conveniences, it's hard to imagine living without them nowadays. But what if these devices are doing more than just making our lives easier? What if they're actually spying on us? Nowadays, most people are already aware that when you're talking to someone and you have your phone nearby, if you're talking about a product or a trip that you made, most likely the next day your phone is going to start showing advertisements for those kind of things that you talked about. It's listening to us. Now, what if it's doing more than just listening to us? About a year ago, Bree Thomason accidentally found out through her infrared camera that our phones are taking invisible pictures of us every five seconds. Wild and crazy Friday night findings. We just discovered, which we already knew, that your phone, an iPhone specifically, takes an infrared picture of you with your face ID every five-ish seconds. And we looked at it through an infrared camera and it's pretty wild. Let's show you. Okay, have your home screen. It's on the home screen. Not touching anything. No buttons. Okay, infrared lens on the camera. Boom, there was one. Two. <laughs> That's so wild. Okay, cover the camera. Okay. Oh, there was another one. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's trying. It's taking pictures of your finger. Okay, move your finger. Ready? Boom. <laughs> After being uploaded, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were completely baffled by this. Is our phone actually spying on us somehow? Needless to say, the next day there were hundreds of videos of people trying the same thing out to see if it actually worked, and surprisingly, in most cases, it did. Now remember, this is something that we can't see with the naked eye, so we need an infrared camera to check it out. After the topic became a viral thing, newspapers all over the world were talking about it. The company that produces the phone actually released an official note, saying that this is actually an aspect of a certain model of the phone, and this is actually part of the Face ID system and the Animoji. In other words, according to the company, this is just a scanning system that checks every 5 seconds if the person is still there, otherwise it would automatically shut the screen off. And even though Apple's explanation is plausible, is most likely what's going on. Many people out there were still skeptical about it. Most internet users seem to agree that there's something wrong about the way this system works. One internet user stated, isn't that just because your phone's making sure you're looking at it to keep the screen on? And another user replied, well my phone just closed when looking at it. And another one stated, there's times I've been thinking of what to type and just staring at the screen and it'll try to shut down. In other words, some internet users are not very confident that this 5 second system is just for face ID and attention aware. It might actually be for something else either. But there's no evidence or proof of that. And not only that, what would they be doing with our pictures? And where would they be storing it? But even so, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think is really going on here? Do you think that mobile phones may actually be spying on us? Or maybe there's nothing to worry about? Leave a comment down below. Now, I don't know if you agree with me, but I would say that humans have achieved a lot of advance in the few hundred years. And if you compare nowadays with the old times, well, we know a lot more about the world that we live in, the universe in general. We know a lot more. But still, there are loads of things to learn and things that we can't easily explain. What? You see that? Just to set an example, we know only 20% about the oceans and we can't dig deeper than 12 kilometers into the Earth's crust, so there's a lot to learn. And I guess that because there's still a lot to learn, some people coin unexplained things as a glitch in the matrix or in the simulation as if we were living in a digital simulation created by a higher intelligence.
Now, of course, this is just a theory created by some actors who believe that we can't disprove, neither prove, if we are living inside of a simulation, which makes things interesting. As ik jullie zeg dat ik dit nog nooit van mijn leven heb meegemaakt, er is geen wolk. Waar komt dit vandaan? Wat is dit? Hallo? Now, of course, this is just an idea, a theory, but there are a few videos out there that actually makes us scratch our heads and ask, are we actually living in some sort of simulation? <laughs> it's the case with a video, for example, that was posted by Reddit user iDrippin. His town was hit by a hurricane and he captured something completely chilling and unexplainable on camera. In the video, we can see a tree branch that was broken by hurricane winds. However, there is one thing about this video. The fence is completely intact. How did this occur? In this next video posted by Vara Joseda, we can see what appears to be a couple of unidentified objects in the sky. When all of a sudden this happened. Now, Joseda was at a music festival called Lost Lands in Ohio, and some internet users think that maybe because she was in a music festival that these could be laser lights. But taking into consideration several laser light videos coming in from festivals, I don't think this is the case. Now, this isn't the only time that such a glitch occurs in the sky. The hell is that? Recently, in Taiwan, locals were surprised by a mysterious phenomenon. Check this out. Now, to make things even weirder, in Saudi Arabia, in the middle of the desert, water started pouring out of nowhere. <laughs> Now this could be a random occurrence. However, the same thing occurred in Saudi Arabia in a different location in the same week. And not only that, in Japan it happened too, a few days later. A water geyser can be seen rising up to 30 meters high in Hokkaido in the city of Oshamambi. What makes this all very strange is that it happened all in the same week. So, Either this is a glitch, or there's a very good explanation to it. Have you ever yourself caught a glitch on camera? And in your opinion, what do you think about these glitches? There are some really strange things that can happen to us during our lives, and we usually forget about these things. <laughs> Nika? 
Vinca. 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 <laughs> Strange noise that you heard at night that you thought you shouldn't have heard. Or a person that you meet at the supermarket that you're pretty sure you've met before. But it doesn't matter how much you make an effort, you can't remember where you met this person from. It's those things that makes us wonder what the heck is really going on here. Well, there's one video that can be found on YouTube, and it was posted by Randy Palacios. In Guatemala, on September 15th, usually schools parade around the city to celebrate their Independence Day. And in one particular celebration, something really strange happened. Randy Palacios was able to capture it on camera. At first, it looks like a very normal parade. The band is playing the music, the people are there cheering for their country, and well, it's a really beautiful event. However, if you really pay attention, there's something strange about it. The man to the right inside the hallway wearing a blue jacket seems to disappear completely out of thin air. And it's not just you, me, and everybody else that was watching this video that noticed this. You can see a man and his family become perplexed, looking for this man. Where did he go? What happened to him? He simply vanished. Now, after watching this video over and over, I can't seem to understand what exactly is going on here. A glitch in the matrix or something else? Have you ever seen anything like this in your lifetime? And what do you think happened here? Now this next video of a roller coaster ride that you're about to watch has a very eerie backstory to it. A glitch in the matrix or something else, I'm not too sure. It seems that a couple of years back, a girl died in this roller coaster. And to this day, people don't know exactly how to explain some of the occurrences that are registered on camera in this place. Now in this video, everything seems normal. However, if you observe the girl in the last seat, it appears that her face is glitching and all of a sudden, she disappears completely without any cuts or edit. I'm gonna play the original video for you to watch and you tell me what you think is going on here. Now if you observe closely, in the end of the video we can clearly see that only three people are able to fit into this roller coaster ride. However in the beginning of the video there were four of them. Now is this just a camera trick or is it a glitch in the matrix or is it something else? Now, I don't know about you, but I am definitely a dog lover. And if you're a dog lover too, you're probably aware of the fact that dogs can sense and hear things that humans can't. Now, taking that into consideration, Brucho Syndicate is a YouTube channel who usually walks his dogs, and his YouTube channel is full of videos of him doing so. What do I see? I can't believe this. In one particular video on January 2014, he was walking his dog in the middle of nowhere, just before sunset. He was traveling into vast fields to escape modern and urban life. This is until his dog led him to a frozen pond or maybe a lake. Well, this is where things get really weird, and Brucho Syndicate found himself face to face with a very strange phenomenon, one that to this day, no one has a perfect explanation to what really is going on here. And this is what Brucho Syndicate caught on camera.
What appears to be a breathing hole can be seen inside the frozen lake and Brucho Syndicate very bravely tries to capture it all on camera. In a certain moment you can actually see this thing forming a wider hole as if there's something inside the lake digging its way out. But Brucho Syndicate continues on recording and this time he zooms in a little bit more and this is what he sees. What the? For real? What the? Internet users were completely baffled by this mysterious phenomenon that Brucho caught on camera that day. Some believe it could be a volcano, but Brucho says that in the middle of Europe where he lives, there are no active volcanoes, and I don't think this is the case. There was a few internet users that suggested that this could actually be a small meteor crater impact site, along with maybe some sort of mysterious object that was somehow hidden underneath. Other internet users believe this could be actually a hot spring, which kind of makes sense. But Brucho replied to his subscribers that he checked many hot spring videos out there on YouTube and according to him, they don't look anything like this mysterious phenomenon that he caught on camera. Needless to say, to this day this continues on being a mystery and I have absolutely no idea what it is that Brucho caught. What I do know is that his subscribers asked him to go back there on a summer day and he did. And this is what he saw. Because it's getting insanely hot. See it there. Here we go. Oh my god, this is so nasty. Look at that, it's like glowing. I don't think this is healthy. Oh man. Oh, that's so slimy. That's nasty. Oh. Oh man, you can't believe how nasty. Oh, it's like goo. What the f is this place? Oh, I see it. Like Rucho Syndicate finds the spot once again, but it seems that whatever this thing is, it isn't there anymore. Which makes this even weirder. In your opinion, what do you think is going on here? In today's world, if you live in a big city, you'll notice that in most places there are several CCTV cameras recording what happens all over for people's security and safety. The thing is, most of the times these cameras are just recording people going from one place to another. But in rare cases, these cameras get to record really strange things. And I guess this is what happened in this next video that we're about to watch that was posted by a Twitter user by the name of TNTJohn17. In this video, we can see what appears to be two people walking on a road late at night at about 12.45 a.m. in the morning. This is when one of the people in the video gets too close to the other one and something completely unexplained happens. Check this out. Whatever is going on here, it seems that this person who appears to shapeshift on camera is not a person after all. Never seen anything like this, but internet users suggest that this could actually be demonic possession caught on camera. Now, demonic possession is considered to be real by exorcists and some psychiatrists. 
For instance, on July 1st, 2016, Richard Gallagher wrote an article about how he became a scientist who actually helped exorcists identify demonic possession. So this is actually a thing and it's taken very seriously. And what's really strange about this video is that if we analyze it closely, it doesn't seem to be edited. The person who jumped on the other one saw something and it ran as fast as possible as if it had seen a ghost, something like that. So everything in this video suggests that it could be the real deal, but I'm not too sure. What would you say? Now just imagine the following situation. You're walking your dog and all of a sudden you look up to the sky and you see an object falling from space. This is sort of what happened with TikToker PME Sasso when he was able to record this strange phenomena on camera. This is what happened. Look at that girl. Look at that hair. See it? It's falling from the sky. Like it came out of space. Where did it go? Where's the... It dropped. OMG, there's people out there looking. Where did it go? I heard a loud cry. This TikToker was lucky enough to even capture this on camera because it's not something that you're prepared to tape. You can see an object falling very fast. Now this is not all. Moments after, aircraft can be seen following its path. Check this out. This happened a couple of weeks ago in Wisconsin and if you were able to capture it on camera, please do send us a video. What do you think is really going on here? In the 1970s, when my grandfather was much younger, I remember him telling me that he bought a blue car in a dealership. He was really happy about it. So he drove the car home and he was pretty sure the car was blue. When arriving home, he got out of the car and the car was yellow. He was baffled by it and he couldn't just get around this story so he told everyone about it. The thing is, at the time people just thought my grandfather was crazy. But the thing is, every day thousands of people live through something similar. Something they can't quite explain, they scratch their heads, they go back home and they remain sleepless thinking about it for days. That still. Is that normal? No, that's not normal. Rapaz, diabo de macacada é essa mesmo que se for chão tá flutuando mesmo, não, irmão, ó. Não tem nada embaixo, irmão, ó. Não é mentira mesmo, não, ó. Diabo de macacada é essa, irmão. After 1999, when The Matrix was released, the topic of maybe living inside of a digital simulation became something bigger. It became a trend. And all of a sudden, there was this possibility that, hmm, maybe we are living inside of a simulation. And maybe sometimes the simulation glitches for some unknown reason. What? Look at this, it's almost, it's almost fake looking. But it's just a theory and we can't prove it or disprove it. A couple of weeks ago, met a cowboy who was waiting for his friend at a store inside his car, realized that he was face to face with one of the most chilling and strangest glitches ever. He was able to capture it all on camera and this is how it all started. Check this out. Guys, this girl keeps repeating the same thing over and over. She's going to get out of her car. Watch her. She's done this three times. She's going to get out of her car. She's going to walk around the front. She's going to go get in the passenger side. All right, watch her. This is super creepy. I don't know if it's like a glitch or what. Now she's going to get out and she's going to walk around the back of the car. Okay, she's gonna walk around the back of the car and then she's gonna get in. 
She's done this three times. She does it every 10 minutes. I'm just sitting in the parking lot. Now she's gonna look to the right, and then she's gonna go. Now, whenever she leaves, she's gonna go over here, and then she's gonna take a right and leave out of the park. Like, the first two times, I'm like, what is going on? Now she's gonna go, and she's gonna go to the highway over there. Sure enough, she goes out to the highway over there, takes a right, and then heads back. So in about five minutes, She's gonna be back and she's gonna keep repeating the same pattern. For some mysterious reason, this woman keeps repeating a pattern and Meta Cowboy actually noticed that while waiting for his friend at a store. He goes inside the store to record the woman doing the repeated pattern once again and this is what happens. This again, just to prove to you guys that I wasn't crazy. Watch, she's going to get out, she's going to walk around the car, sit in the other side. She's stuck in the same pattern. She's done this five or six times. And she's going to get out and walk around the back of the car. Somehow intrigued about this mysterious glitch, Meta Cowboy decides to go and talk to her to see if he could somehow get her out of this mysterious loop. And this is what happened next. Check this out. Guys, she's back. All right, out of respect for her, I'm not going to show her face, but I'm going to see if I can break the pattern. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Hey, um, I was just sitting here and I saw you kind of doing the same thing over and over. And I was wondering if uh, you heard about the stuff that I uh, Oh, I, I didn't I, I thought I maybe had a Okay. After approaching the woman, she replies back something that I can't exactly hear. If you can, please leave a comment. The thing is, he goes back to his car and he records her leaving for the last time. Completely baffled by it, he goes back to living his normal and regular life. Jesus. However, that same evening, eight hours later after this event, this happens right, check this out. out now i'm at the light and there is this girl with her mother what is going on today like how can this even be i don't understand like why are all these things happening after Matt cowboy posted the video to his social media millions of views and thousands of comments were pouring in and people were confused some people believe that this is a legit glitch in the matrix that maybe he caught on camera while others think that the girl has some sort of OCD. Now, if you don't know what OCD is, it's an obsessive compulsive disorder that is characterized by unreasonable thoughts and fears and obsessions that lead to compulsive behaviors. And it's more common than most people would imagine. The thing is, there are degrees of this OCD. Some people have more OCD than others and the list goes on. The thing is, what many internet users noticed is that for some mysterious reason, the woman is barefoot. And not only that, there are other strange patterns in the video that if you notice, it would possibly point to the fact that maybe this is not OCD, maybe this is something else entirely. But I'm not exactly sure what. In your opinion, do you think this could actually be some sort of glitch in the matrix? Or is it maybe that she has some sort of OCD? The thing is, how do you explain Meta Cowboy running into her once again the same day, eight hours later? I mean, is this just a big coincidence or is there something else to it? What's your take? What do you think is really going on here? Is this a legit glitch, OCD, or maybe something else entirely? I remember when I was much younger, I used to watch superhero movies and ask myself if one day I would also have superpowers. 
As I grew up, I found out it wasn't exactly like that, but that's okay because it basically happens with everyone, or almost everyone. In this video, for instance, Jeff Janish was walking his dog in Russia in the woods when all of a sudden something catches his dog's attention. Tarzan, Tarzan come near. He followed his dog and what happened next left him speechless. He comes upon what appears to be a mother and a daughter supposedly levitating hidden in the middle of the woods. Throughout time, there have been many people who have shown to have some sort of superpower. From Buddhist monks levitating and changing their body temperatures, to Wim Hof withstanding extreme cold temperatures, there are a few people out there who have superhuman powers that to this day, experts can't explain. Now what I find interesting is that most of these superhumans claim to use some sort of altered state of mind to achieve most of these abilities. It's as if they have unlocked the human brain somehow. That ball of light, that awareness, and consciously move it to any area of the mind that you want to go to. And if somebody or something is pulling that awareness to an area of the mind that you don't want to go to, you use your willpower and your powers of concentration. Now if this is the case, then maybe it would help explain some really strange videos out there. A couple of weeks ago, a man by the name of Isaac Luna started posting strange and odd videos to social media. Isaac usually posts videos of him doing his daily chores. Establish my territory. He knows this area is mine. Or exercising his body and mind. This is until last week when his subscribers noticed something odd. This, for instance, is the first video where things start to get strange with Isaac's account. Envision the shoulder press. 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 Oh. That's the movement. Looks so something like that. If you have any questions, let me know, but um, everyone should be able to do this movement. When I first watched this video, I was pretty sure that this man was somehow levitating using some sort of camera trick or maybe a rope. And I guess most people thought that too. His Instagram and TikTok followers were completely divided between is this a camera trick, a green screen, or is it maybe real? This is when Isaac posted his second video in a different setting in his backyard. Check this out. However it is that Isaac is doing this, he left most of his viewers baffled. But still, there were people who thought he was using some sort of green screen or a special effect. Isaac then posted a third video in the grass, in the middle of his backyard, not touching any wall. Check this out. Focus.
As Isaac posted more of these videos, it became stranger by the day. If it's a trick or not, no one knows how he's doing it. People all over the world were trying to do the same thing on TikTok and Instagram without any success. And to prove that he wasn't using any green screen, Isaac posted a fourth video showing his backyard. He also posted a couple of the methods that he's using to achieve this ability. The books that he's reading, the Tesla coil that he bought, and what he calls exercising the core energy every day. Whatever it is that's going on here, I'm pretty sure that it should be a trick, but no one has figured out how it is that he's pulling it. In his last video, we can see clearly he's not using any rope of any sort or green screen special effect. Check this out. Levitation. Focus. Feel. Smash. How is it that Isaac is doing this? If it was supposed to be some sort of elaborate trick, there would be hundreds, thousands of people maybe doing the same thing on TikTok and Instagram, and this isn't the case. So what's going on here? Is this maybe the real deal? Is it some sort of glitch in the simulation or is it some sort of superpower? What's your take? This is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys again.